This is the 2023 Brewtubers Online Brewers Club Yeast Experiment, British Brown Ale. Thanks to our sponsors, Imperial Yeast, Five Star Chemicals, Yakima Valley Hops, Beer and Wine Hobby Homebrew Store, and Brewers Hardware. Let's get tasting. Hey guys, Matt here from Rec Brewery. Got another review for you. This is of the 2023 Brewtubers Yeast Experiment. Uh, this one here comes in from uh, Billy, Gam Dude Brewing, another canner. Uh, he used the WLP002 staple in the home brewing community. Uh, I've used this plenty of times. I'm sure pretty much every home brewer has. Great, great English ale yeast. Um, I did pull up the description just so I can go over it like the others in uh, on my tablet here from my Weight Labs website. And it just says here, this is a classic ESB strain from one of the England's largest independent breweries. While it's traditionally used for English style ales, including milds, bitters, porters, and stouts, it's also ideal for American style pale ales and IPAs. Residual sweetness uh, accentuates malt character along with mild fruity esters, adding complexity to the flavor and aroma of finished beers. Um, so yeah, you know, as I said, it's, a, it's very common and it's a great yeast. Uh, let's see what else did he put on here. He's got this government warning, brewed in Michigan. Uh, and actually he's got the yeast description right on here, so I didn't even need, didn't even need the website. Uh, let's see here, I don't have anything else on the can, so I'm not quite sure what his final gravity was or ABV or anything. Um, so hey, we'll, uh, we'll just go ahead and try it out and be surprised. Nice pop on the can, filled right to the top. Try to come out of there. Let's go ahead and pour this. It's pouring real nice. Looking like it's going to have some good carbonation in there. We'll stop it there. Got a little bit left in the can to top it off later. Man, that is crystal, crystal clear, that beer. You can see straight through it. Let me see if I can bring this to the camera so you guys could see that. Look at that. <laughs> that is amazingly clear. Very, very clear. Nice job on the clarity, sir. 10 out of 10. And the head is, uh, that's a finger and a half probably. A nice uh, sort of frothy top on it and uh, got some great legs on that just hanging around all over the glass I don't think that's going to go anywhere anytime soon tight bubbles on on that um, I can't really see too much yeah they're very small bubbles streaming into the glass here so it's not it's not as uh, obvious looking at it. that's really interesting how that how that is kind of happening there. Usually you can see sort of a nice, if it's got good carbonation, you can see sort of a nice upside down snowstorm. But in this case, I could see it, but they're very, they're very light. But certainly, certainly can't complain about the look of that beer. That is nice, very, very nice. All right, let's try the aroma here. Hmm. Yeah, this, uh, this smells very similar to a couple of the earlier ones I had. It's got a nice sort of, um, you know, some, some caramely kind of notes to it. You know, a little bit, maybe a little bit of a nuttiness there. Um, possibly some toffee. Yeah, that's uh, real nice. It's kind of got a, um, it's kind of got like a, a little bit of maybe that sort of Vienna scent to it as well that I, that I, uh, I like to use as a descriptor. I don't know if it's a great one, but <laughs> what it kind of reminds me of, like a, like a kind of got like a uh, Vienna lager kind of aroma to it almost. Well, let's try it. Cheers. Oh yeah, that is delicious. A lot of the same flavors there as I'm picking up on the aroma, for sure. It's got a nice sort of uh, caramely 
taste to it, some some nice, uh, you know, like a, like a brown sugar. Um, very, very slight on the roast. Um, that's certainly in the background. Definitely getting some of that toffee, you know, toffee, caramel -y type of notes on this one. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to rank this one with the others. I'm going to push this one up towards the top as well. I still think Kurt, uh, Kurt's beer, uh, Fermentation Adventures, I think his, what was he, the Y Yeast 1469, I believe, West Yorkshire. I think his is still my favorite. This one is probably my second favorite. This is very nice, very good, very good beer. Man, can't get over that clarity. That's probably that's probably the clearest I think of the bunch. There's no uh, no no chill haze or anything from that. <clears throat> uh, it's also one of the lighter ones. I don't think I mentioned that yet. Um, it's got kind of a uh, it's got a nice copper color to it, so it's not as dark. Uh, so it doesn't. I don't know. When I think brown ale, I think I think um, a little darker than this, but there's nothing wrong with this at all. It's just it's just lighter than the rest. And uh, maybe, just maybe a characteristic of the yeast has changed the color some. That certainly, certainly has happened. Well carbonated though. <laughs> yeah, nice job, Billy. Thanks for uh, sharing. Thanks for being part of this experiment. Hey, come join us, brewtubers.com. Come join the fun. Hop on the Discord, chat with all the knowledgeable folks. And, uh, you know, hey, maybe next year you can be part of one of these awesome experiments. These, these are a lot of fun to, uh, to see what, what everybody's craft is. And, you know, stuff like this where we're doing experiments where we can um, see some differences in, in various ingredients. In this case, we did yeast. Um, also, thank you to our sponsors. Every one of our sponsors has gone into the, this experiment and this beer in, in one way or another. I know pretty much everybody in the club has ordered all of their ingredients from Beer and Wine Hobby. Um, so some of us have used the yeast from Imperial uh, in this experiment. I have uh, my last beer to get to is Nick's, and he I know he used Imperial. So, um, and of course, you know, five star. Everyone keeps the brewery nice and clean and sanitary with five star. Um, and uh, you know, of course, Brewers Harbor. I think all of us probably have something from there to uh, to add um, in our brewery. So. Uh, but anyway, with that, with that, um, we will catch you guys on the next review. Have a good night. Cheers.